Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever we're here. And welcome back to the beat-up plans return to our Stellaris gameplay. So why in the heck am I in the opening screen, you might wonder? Well, off-camera I have been playing a little bit myself, and I've learned quite a bit. And as you can see, I have actually created quite the empire. Where this is our gameplay for the YouTube series. We have 16 planets. Here I own 56, and uh, well, let me just show you for a moment. Here I have truly late game to the game. And I am a power to behold within the galaxy. Um, this all is mine. The Confederacy of Helvon Yule. And the fact why I didn't want to play this for the YouTube is because I am a fanatic pacifist. I was all about unity. And as you can see, I have now one, more than one million unity stored. In fact, I'm coming close to one and a half million unity. <laughs> And that's to see even my traditions, because I have all of them. And here I have gone into, well, an empire building game. As you can see, I have tons of directly controlled colonized systems that I can have. And I also named these guys, somewhat for a reason, the species of Sam and the Samites. <clears throat> They're totally not based on some country you might know in the world, but yes, uh, although... They're xenophobic, they're pacifist, but we have also, let me see here, factions, for instance, the Vanguard of the Chosen, the militaristic side, which we can keep quite happy. We're, we're pacifistic, militaristic type of deal, but with a lot of unity gain, and the only wars I, in which I gained land, in which I, by the way, took down a fallen empire, here you have the core, here you have my fleet, by the way, 388 thousand power and I still have in the bank but uh, yeah if you look at the surface you can see here these crazy strong builds that just do 15 energy per building or 12 minerals crazy amounts of stuff I have one from this fallen empire and this just awoke an empire well if you compare them to us they're actually inferior their technology level is superior but the fleet power is in and they were even willing to enter into a federation. We also have an endgame crisis in this gameplay, but it's not really an endgame crisis because they were destroyed by the AI itself. This is an AI world. The AI rebelled in this world, and well, they already actually handled most of it. I am a power to be holding here, but that is not our campaign, of course. But yes, um, oh, I should show you one thing before I go. As I said, I have also built mega structures as a mega empire that's pacifistic, militaristic, uh, xenophobic, and it's called the Sams with a, a nice blue bird. I have Dyson Spheres, which by the way now give 400 energy, soon they will give a thousand with the next upgrade. I have uh, here a Science Nexus, which will also be putting out 225 science per thing, 90 right now. I have built my own ring worlds. As you can, well, here I'm in the process of building one of Sigma Draconis Habitat A is being colonized right now, but that's not the only one that I have. No, it, this is really, really an endgame one. Here you see it completely being built. And yes, I'm building buildings everywhere, even if they're not inhabited, because, well, my energy income is no issue. And so, yeah, I've built all kinds of things. Oh, also the habitat, uh, which is another one of the mega structures. For which you don't need, by the way, um, all these. These allows you to build a century array, uh, science nexus, Dyson sphere, and here's the habitat, and here's a ring world, and here's a speed. So, I should show you the other ones as well, for a late game. So you could just, perhaps can see it once if you've never built it yourself. Um, that is a military, that's an outpost. Oh no, there's the habitat as well. I was wondering. Here it is. There's the habitat. And then we have a sensor array, I believe, in the Beta Corvi system. Yeah, here it is. Here is our sensor array array. That is why I have sight on everything. And everything has already been taken care of. And these guys, and all they've grown because I had a defensive pact with them. But as they grew, uh, well, they don't like me so much anymore because I'm a xenophobe. And I did genocidal training because, oh. Interesting. For me then. This guy is of the Ukopronak uh, stores that were the guys that were over here. 
these guys are, well, not so genocidal as I am. And they let them live, but this is the original species you can see here. And now they are even in control over here, and I said no, I can wipe them out all along with the hive mind that was over here. And then people start complaining, and I don't know, I threw some people out of their own sanctuary home world, which I liberated and put myself on it. And I kept this one little thingy over here alive simply because, well, <laughs> I kind of needed to. But yeah, that is an endgame empire, but this was almost no warfare. I did almost no warfare. I just expanded, expanded, and when they attacked, then I could take plans. But in principle, no warfare. Lots of unity gain. Lots of building, building, building. Trying to understand the game better. We, however, have a, a totally different game. So, let us go to our game. Shall we? That will be a bit of a recap for me as well, because it's been a while. So, I also got quite a few, uh, nice, by the way, very nice, uh, suggestions. And I commented on them, and on one of them I am very sorry because I was completely wrong. So, Black Shaman Jr., I believe is your name. You were right, these guys are xenophobe. They will go into restore mode if our borders border them. Luckily, this does not border them, but I have to be really careful. In fact, I'm kind of surprised they have not gone into restore mode yet. Because these guys are next to them, and I would have expected them to awaken and destroy everything. So, perhaps we might all die, or perhaps I will just say, okay, I will accept your sovereignty. Um, so, here, totally different gameplay. Uh, unity is something we do try to gain, but we don't have a lot of it. And we're going for psionic... Uh, no, we were trying to get the psionic... Ascendance. That's mainly our end game goal, and if we've done that, we will end. After all, CK2 is also coming out with a new expansion called Jade Dragon, and of course, I will be on top of that, as always. Uh, here we have our species, and I have to think a little bit about it. Uh, but the other ones, as you saw, I only had four factions, and that's was because we were conformists as a species, but here we are not at all. We are uh, suppressing this faction, by my knowledge. And I've learned that if I look at them, I can also see a little bit why something is going up. So, egalitarianism, uh, decadent pops in empire, and autocratic in government uh, reduces it. Enslaved pops there increases it, active political faction increases and then we have diplomacy with egalitarian empire. So I can never, ever actually reduce the egalitarian stuff. Uh... So yeah, actually suppressing this does not help at all, because I will never get rid of this. Uh, Silver Guard, strong alone, yeah. We can easily make them happy if we do not... If we become unfederated. Uh, Nonviolence will, by the way, will never ever go away. So that's really annoying. This faction we can only get a little bit of happy, so we... That's why I'm really considering... No, I, because I do want to be in the Federation. That's, that, we are... Um, what can I say? We, we are our are, are peace-loving, alien-loving empire, despite not being xenophilic. We are fanatic and or, or farian and spiritualists. Um, though we can, of course, in the end, perhaps reform the government. Could I already do that? Can I add one? No. Okay, so we don't have the tech yet to additionally reform the government, which is possible. Um, does cost a lot of influence, though. Now, for you, it's all rather just a few days in between, but for me, it has been weeks since I played this. Um, what I re oh, what I remember about this gameplay is that yeah, we had several subspecies because terraforming came too late, so we modified our species to be in different areas. Uh, we can genetically enhance our true our species though, but what do we want to modify them with? Not enough trade picks left. But I have one here. How is that possible? Select all? I can remove decadence, but there's no reason for that. Possibly we have so many traits already that they don't want us want it to be removed? Hmm. 
didn't realize that. Well, then it's really pointless to go into this. Uh, what we could do... Are oh, they already conformists? I've, I realized perhaps I could make these guys conformists and then they would adhere more to our government politics, but they're not really... They're already into that, so I could... What I could do is make them communal. Uh, select all... Communal. They will get five happiness, but that's such... Such a high amount of science. Now, in the other game, I have been able to actually explore... Or, uh, exploit everything in the galaxy over here. And I'm starting to think that, despite the fact that it might cause budgeteering... Uh, budget issues? It may in the end be better for us, because... Uh, we really need some more, um, stuff. Ooh! This lies within our... Oh, no, it lies within their borders, of course. Never you mind. Uh, that was... Unjustified excitement. Um... Well, we don't... Let's see the factions again. We can't do local rivalry, because these guys are nowadays... Our vassal. Not happy about it, but they are our vassal. The ma materialists. And these are our allies, who are... Have gone incredibly big. Um... Opinion map mode. Yeah, these two are happy with us. This is one that is associated with the Federation, but isn't a true Federation person. We, which we would like to get in so that we would have the more uh, happy. They consider us a threat. Ooh. That is unfortunate. But yeah, as a Federation associated status, perhaps that later on they will join. And then these are our opponents, so to speak. The federation that we created, and therefore we feel like... I, I don't think I've done a lot already in this game that I wanted to achieve. But, well, we haven't played for 12... we talked for 12 minutes and we haven't done a darn thing yet. Um, you're constructing. Where are you, construction ship? You're over here. In the end, you want all the mining stuff. Alright. We need better income, and I've noticed that most of the time the energy is lower than the minerals until you get, for instance, Dyson Spheres or, or plants that are very focused on doing otherwise. Shindilavri, do I have a focused planet? I don't think that I had very special traits over in this, this gameplay. We can build that already up for sure. And then we have this planet for some reason. Seems very under underdeveloped. Ah, because it's the second planet within this system then. Yeah. Alright, that's cool. Um I got a Xeno Zero here, of course, but that's gonna take a while. Yeah, here we don't have that many direct sectors at all. Unlike in my other gameplay. Uh, Construction complete. Science project debris. Where is that all? It's over here, everywhere. But we already have a science ship over here, so I think we can. I think I left this place better off than I expected. And I do remember that we had some planets over here that we might want to colonize, but they're very far off. In the other gameplay, I have a technology where this is the cost is halved, which is amazing. Because you can do so much more. Um, doop. Government. We have curators insights. That's nice. Construction complete. What we also could try and do is get very friendly with one of these guys. And get them to trade us their special resources. Uh, you're just bleak. That's not what we want to see, actually. Because we have a lot of... Oh! The Bronze the Aliens are fitted to have advanced sufficiently enough into the Iron Age. Oh. Uh, the tools and weapons they make use... Okay, so they have grown beyond one age. Since our initial settlement on Aldeb Prime, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to the project 
models for a world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tempering and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of terraforming process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current, unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result will be, however. Um, where is this? Utlip Prime. Utlip. Where is the Utlip system? There. I think we're gonna deactivate it because there's a good chance it will go to a totally uninhabitable in environment for ours. It will become nitrogen or whatever you not. I found that this I prefer this special project for it actually um, dismantle the equipment. Is we're gonna dismantle the equipment construction because you never know where this ends and it's could very well end up very badly and we already complete. modified locally our species to. Uh, oh, compensate for uh, the issues. Hello? Construction ship, thank you. No, I had the construction ship. Okay, apologizing here for apparently bad management of the construction ship. Where are you? Yeah, you can build that one as well. It all goes to the sector here, though. Oh, we have still here an inhabitable planet. Oh, we already have a colony ship going there. Well, what do you know? I was even better than I expected. Factions, which would probably help you because... Oh, no. We already had border expansion. Alright. Nice. A little bit of tech points. Always good. Always good. Yeah, this empire is a little wee large. But we're federated, so it should be fine. Special project complete. Excellent. Society research. Construction Don't mind at all. And you guys are the Xeno files. Complete. Debris I'm not analyzed. Uh, research complete. Yet met these guys as in Fallen Empire, so I don't know exactly what they do. Uh, do like this technology, I have to admit. You're just meticulous, alright. Um This is really not good. That doesn't matter too much. Yeah, let's remove the tile blocker. They're not circling planets, I just noticed. You're not? No, you're circling the wrong planet. Voila. All our income all of a sudden. Uh, just raised by 30 or so, thanks to uh, putting them in the right position. Man. Uh, rivalry. Between you and these guys, right? Okay, that's absolutely not a problem. That's absolutely not a problem. More to reanalyze. That's also pretty good. So, with that energy cost, we can... We can really start building up everything as we want to. Build all the military uh, mining posts out here. And out here. It's time that we, uh... Unscrupulously mine the freaking galaxy. I didn't even know that was an issue. Alright. Research complete. Construction complete. Tile blocker done. Sector limit. No, but climate restoration might be... Oh, civic slots. That's actually really good. I have learned that now, but I didn't do that in the beginning very quickly, because I didn't know what it did, but now I do know. And civic slots is the thing here about your government. Cost 250 unity, but it could be so helpful. You are nice and young, so the monthly influence gain is good right now. Colony established. Alright, and that's adding to our sector, that's fine. Uh, peaceful committee, you know, you will be pushing us to pacifist if we would embrace you. And that still wouldn't get you extremely happy. Well, we probably want the strategic dominion, it will give us plus five, uh, I thought it was give plus five percent. Uh, 
Okay, then we come to Eglotarian. That's kind of bad for us. Those are these guys, and Eglotarian and us don't really mix well. Because we are Ophorian. Yeah, they're Eglotarian now. Um, Alright, more ships. This is a repeatable tech. That's what this symbol indicates. So I can do this over and over and over again. Um, Battleship of Fun. Assembly Yard? Yes, please. Um, and I still haven't found out how it works with the Federation, because, well, uh, the other gameplay, I am not federated, so I don't know as well how that will work, but uh, I think everybody just rotates through the leadership of uh, the next presidency. Construction complete. Armies, way larger than us. Planets, we are second. Yeah, not surprised. Not surprised over there. Um, you have declared you as a rival. Oh, too bad. We we were at one time friendly enough with these folks, but uh, yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. And these plants are a little closer, but these were not very good, if I recall. And these were all. A Segi uh, type of plant. So this is a Tomb World, okay. Thought of almost, almost it was a Tomb World. Speaking of Tomb Worlds, of course, we have Soul Research over here. Complete. And I have been told there are different ways to get here. And I know, well, and, and some of them I knew. There is, for instance, the possibility to invade with an army. And then we could just get this. The problem of that is, for me, is that these guys will get a minus 25% penalty, I believe. Just like there's non-violence. We need their influence. We just can't do without their influence. And that makes us... Um, unfortunately, very, very annoyingly, we, we can't um, set ground upon soul. And that really feels annoying. That was a repeatable tech. Um, I've also learned that researching the AIs technology is not a problem as long as we don't have robots. No, we're never going to build robots because we are of course an ultimate people. And uh, I am going to research a few of these things just to get rid of them. So I really want to invade Seoul, but unfortunately because we have so many different factions, um, it's a little less problematic. It's a little bit more problematic, sorry. That was very improper of mine, the way I said that. Uh, construction ship. Science stations, and these stations, and you can build, I'll build a research station over here, um, now we have a science ship that has no longer any orders, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, th those were really far away, weren't they? Yeah. Can we get over here with uh, the science ship? Yeah, because we have open borders with them. Okay. Go! Cool. I see a very good place to go to. Sorry, boy. You're gonna build this one first. And then this one. And then this one. This is a very good system. Nice that it now lies within a border. Gives us terraforming gases. Habitability plus 5%. Oh, no, it's not uh, Ingo's Vapor. Sorry. Terraforming gases. Uh, slightly different color, apparently. This also isn't a bad system to get if we could get it. Minerals, big mineral planets, savanna. Research complete. Uh, search complete. Getting a little bit higher in tech. Because if we get this, we might be able to... These borders might grow together at some point. And they already took these two that we were interested in. Savannah would mean that we wouldn't once again send out our, our uh, Sendidavri from complete. 
this planet, I believe, because these are the guys that are modified to live in a desert Incoming world. Transmission. Mm, spaceport. You don't have one yet. Build one. Otherwise, we can't do that. Uh, you want monthly Engels Vapors. Do we already own, own one? Yes, we did. For 559 minerals. I will agree with them. Not with you. 1,000 minerals is a bit of a bad deal, but it's early in the game. That's probably good enough of a deal. Yeah, just build them. Just build all the things. Also helps a lot now that you know, I realize that we don't have this issue anymore. Okay, so let's talk to the people that kind of enjoyed us. We would like to trade for minerals. And we need it one more time. Now we're interested in something else. We could buy strategic resources from them. And they have mutagen crystals. And that gives governing ethics attraction. And we will buy those. Because there's a thousand... We get an additional strategic resource. And the good thing about the, uh, the government attraction will help us with the factions. So that's a really good one to get. You have several ones of those. You also have one that gives additional habitability. Uh, well, we probably can get tradition here and then you go into a decent positive thing. How are the traditions? Well, first we'll unlock uh, this absolutely. That we don't Visitor centers are okay. Research they're not complete. superior buildings, but they're okay. Um, civic slots. Very nice. Chemical Bliss, not really good. Um, yeah, nice, but we're a bit early game, I have the feeling. Or early, we're more mid game here. Um, I don't need them, but they might lead to something else. And here we can reform the government. Now we can add an additional um, thing. We can, for instance, say Imperial Cult. Edict cost minus 33%. Ah, uh, we don't really do that. Philosopher King. Our uh, ruler gets plus two skill levels. Uh, uh, Bully State minus 20 unrest. Wouldn't be bad with all the slaves. We could do environmentalist cutthroat politics to just gain all one monthly influence in general would be bad. Uh, efficient bureaucracy for more core systems. And that's not this gameplay, it's not really about that. And aristocratic elite. Empire leader capacity and government recruitment costs lowered. Building costs, mining guilds. I'm considering either cutthroat politics or police state. Do we still have very much, uh, do we still have a lot of unrest on our worlds? Over here. No, it's lowering. It's, a, it's, all, it's mainly done by armies, I have to admit, but that's what it takes, right? Hey, I thought, yeah. Skill is my 20, spiritualist, the greater good, capital world. Here, there's like no unrest. Despite having a slave, but... Wait. Oh no, you did build a casino too, okay. You know what? We want influence. So we're gonna do cutthroat politics. Plus one influence. We invest more or less 250 influence to gain more over time later on. Reform, cutthroat politics, and then we can use our influence for... Different matters, because you also need influence to build, for instance, those very big buildings. But, uh, to be honest, to be honest, we're probably not going to go into megastructures. The eyes of Lusatis has encountered a significant ancient mining drone. Uh, let us see what we can learn from it. Alright, and apparently they got it in their borders somehow. But it wasn't when I went to it. We'll do this. 
And oh yeah, that lies within our borders. Interesting that it says here zero of five deposits. But I only see one tracker going off. Where are the other ones? Yeah, huh? Okay. Don't understand. Never you mind. Um, science ship. I think it is time for you to come back home. Ooh, planetary capital building. Uh, you already have assist research. You have very poor research, so I don't think that's worth it. You only have assistant research. You have poor research. You have decent research. So I guess... You are the lucky fellow. It's gonna get assistant in research. Construction ship. Um, build the research stations. Build the mining stations. I believe they forward settled there. Did they? Did they own this space? Can't recall that they did, but then again, there's already a mine here, so it must be. It's unfortunate that this system probably will go outside of our influence. Um, how much would it be to colonize this system again? 265. Not too far from now. I'm probably going to take that. Special project complete. Giving access to droning optimizations edict. All right. Research complete. And edict cost, resettlement cost, trade points. Um, we already noticed that we are a full on trade point, so it's kind of pointless to do this. Let's just go with extra farming. If we have more far better farming, we can replace other buildings, and that means more science, for instance. And more science is good. You should. Oh, yeah. For a moment, I thought this wasn't. This number was white. We did not have anything built built in that location. Ooh, and there is a tradition. Let's build. Visitor center, and then we really would like to get. Where is it? Transcendence. Requires three other sensitive perks to acquire. We stand at the threshold of waking the true psionic might of our species. Okay, so seeing we can't do that, we need to take another one. Uh, naval capacity, absolutely not. Defender of the galaxy, not really needed. Border range, uh, damage to fallen empires, not really needed. Uh, unity output. Might have been nice, but Consecrate World uh, unlocks either Consecrate World. This is a planetary either that lasts for 100 years, increases pop happiness, increased growth boost, and the speed of energy generation. Oh, uh, that's special to our being spiritual lists, I believe, but I do like the Imperial Prerogative. Because I still feel that the AI isn't as capable as I am to controlling sectors, but. And I rarely run edicts, considering I need all the influence right now. I need all the influence, so I don't want to lose that. So I guess it's going to be Imperial Prerogative. Strangely enough, and that means that we might lose a few sectors. When we have enough influence. When we settle this, we'll use influence to take away planets. Add them to our empire. And then we can directly control them and make them a little better. So I, that's why also in the other one I had like 25 possible ones or something like crazy like that. We'll remove that a few of them and then we will make them the best plans that we can. Um, you are never a slave. That is really dumb if that happens. Clear this. Clear that. And we almost have it to settle this. Uh, that's the wrong planet. Energy credits output. But so small. You. I kind of want you to build me a colony ship. Of these guys. Research complete. And there it is being built, so we know where to go. And physics lab. Yeah, would be nice, but... 
Yeah, but it is good. It is. Yeah, let's go for it. Even if it's a very big, big thing. Uh, because we're unlocking more planets, so we should really look into that. Uh, it will take a bit of a while to, to make uh, that area, so I'm thinking I will take this planet over. And I will... This, for instance. This should never be happening. All race is the dominant race. So, sectors. I'm gonna manage you. The uh, You're the hard sector, right? I think you're the hard sector. Uh, I have redevelopment on you. Why in the hell did that happen? Manage sector. Remove this. That's for... First I will take that, and slowly I will I will mess up the entire sector. Um, so this is now directly under our control. And then we have the fidget people over here that we can later on take into our planet. And we have this system here of these guys. Which we can have a, inhabit with also the, the succubus species that we have. In fact, I think I will take... I'm not even sure what would happen if I would take all these plants away from the sector. I will take this one away, this one away, and this one away, and voila, now the sector is dead. Okay, close. Let's do it like that. Sector is destroyed. We will directly control these planets. I will look into it, making them a little better. Uh, we'll build one planet over here. Those will be the ten that we will control for a while. And then, when we get an eleventh one, it will be uh, a game of put this one in our, our, our direct control, put it out of our direct control, and then we will organize that this will work a lot better, because right now with this they're not removing tile blockers and stuff, and yeesh. But, for now, I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.